been a while since I did a Star Trek graphic novel collection read. I've got more than 100 books. This is volume 11. I don't know why they chose the order. It seems like haphazard random, uh, but, you know, there's not real, like, continuity between the books anyway, so you can just kind of read them. TNG Intelligence Gathering. This is a mini series that was done uh, for The Next Generation. It's written by Scott and David Tipton, who are brothers in L.A., uh, drawn by David Messina and uh, Gianluigi Gregorini. All right. I hope I got that right. And then there's a gold key issue in the back, and that's what I like about these graphic novel collections. Now, what's cool is they have, like, matching spines, so they all form a picture in it uh, once you've got them all. And nice hardcovers. They collect like the vast majority of Star Trek stuff. Fortunately, it has been discontinued before they finished off some of the DC stuff from the 90s, uh, which I'm bummed about, but good stuff. And uh, this starts out, it's like, they seem like they're just like one-offs. You got Riker and Holodeck. Um, and I mean, the art's okay. I, with these Star Trek books, they, they end up doing talking heads a little too much uh, for you can see like, whoa. <laughs> But there's a lot to impart here. There's this, like, data center, and it's, like, 3D, and they, they get to go in it and travel in it. Turns out Romulans are messing with it in order to try to capture uh, data, the character. And uh, they have to deal with that uh, over the course of this. So Tom Locke's in charge, and then that that's it. So each each one of these issues focuses on, like, kind of a singular character being the, being the one. Now they go to another planet, and... Uh, Worf is chosen to be like the diplomatic ambassador down here. There's some rebels and uh, the rebels turn out to be the good guys, even though they, they, they were meeting with the guys who they thought were the good guys at first. You know, I'm not, I'm not huge on the art so much, but these stories really are good and they feel like Star Trek The Next Generation episodes. So um, I can forgive a little like kind of weak art uh, on that front because it's good. Next one, of course, focuses on Geordi. And we're dealing with some engineering problems. There's like a starship that's out of dock. And uh, there's these phantom things that are threatening to blow up the ship. Nobody believes their engineer, but Geordi believes him and finds it. Uh, this is a really cool one. Feels feels very Star Trek episode-y. Uh, and they save the ship before it blows up. They kind of realize they're being diverted off course at this point And that there's something going on. And uh, this one, they have to deal with the pack lead. They end up on the ship. And when they come back, like, there's, like, some weird virus-y thing manipulating people. Um, and they had to uh, deal with that. So um, they find out a little more key towards this mystery of what's going on here. And they end up going towards this, this planet where they were going towards anyway, which was a trap. Romulans do end up kidnapping Data on this. And uh, we turn out th that the Romulans found some old Iconian technology, referencing the old Iconian stuff. They open a portal to this world, and there's these evil monsters there, and it's trapped. And they wanted Data to, like, interface with this, is what it came down to. And uh, Data figures out how to stop it and close it, but you have to close the portal from the other side. And uh, a Romulan volunteers to do his duty uh, to close that portal from the other side and get killed for the Empire. And um, there's a little, uh, why did you do this? And uh, this is very interesting. Uh, and of course, uh, it's interesting. Romulans fear disgrace more than death. And uh, Tom Luck goes, at least one of you understands us. Very nice. Uh, loved, loved this uh, storyline. Very good stuff overall. And then there's some covers at the back of it. Then you get to the gold key issue. And what's great is these, uh, they print like one gold key issue almost per volume uh, going through. And gold key, they did some gold key archives of the Star Trek stuff, but like there's a, they, of course, got discontinued, too, so a lot of it never got collected. So this is the best way to find those. Unfortunately, these are out of print now, too, so you really can't find these either. <laughs> this is Len Wein, and, uh, you know, he's he's of uh, Swamp Thing fame and uh, was editor for Alan Moore and stuff like that for a long time, creator of Wolverine. And uh, there's this beautiful story where they go down to a planet and, like, deal with this, like, magician and uh, and have to, like... Uh, find some scepter for him and uh, go through all these weird adventures where they're fighting with rocks. It looks like an old, like, uh, Sinbad in the Seven Seas sort of tale in space. And it turns out that it's, like, all hollow technology and, and fake, so they, they deal with the bad guy to begin with. It's, it's really fun stuff. Look at this beautiful 60s work. Hey, just don't make comics like this anymore, friends.
It's too bad. And they eventually head back. So good stuff. Uh, this is probably an eight and a half out of 10. Uh, highly, highly recommendation on this one. Very enjoyable. And uh, that's it. Leave a comment down below with what you think. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.